Hey Apprentice Squad, have you ever tried cutting out a circle out of EVA foam by hand that has a bevel on it? It's pretty tricky. Uh, so in today's Apprentice Clip, I'm gonna show you a little technique that I developed to be able to try to get a good, clean, beveled circle cut by hand. Stay tuned. All right, so cutting circles out of EVA foam is hard enough, but you add the complication of a bevel into it and it just gets that much trickier. So in this video, let's dive in and we'll go through the technique that I developed for cutting a beveled circle. So right here, I've got a piece I need to cut out for my clone trooper helmet. This is the piece that goes on the back of the head, a um, little circle, and it uh, has a nice um, bevel to it. And I, from what I could tell, it's about six millimeters thick. So I figured six millimeter foam, that would work great. Once again, if you haven't seen our video on uh, cutting out circles out of EVA foam, check that out um, up here, wherever, because that's going to help you. We're going to use that same technique here. A lot of the same things are going to apply. We'll just use a slight variation of it. So now I have this drawn on a full piece of six millimeter WTF, what the foam, um, and uh, that's going to be make it a lot harder to be able to do. So the first thing I want to do is actually cut this down to be a smaller piece. So you're gonna to wanna to try to get as straight of lines as you can and try to keep an even distance away from the uh, outer circle. So what I've done here is I've drawn on the top of the circle that I want and then where I want the end of the bevel to end, okay? So that's gonna help me to be able to know um, what my top circle looks like and kind of where I'll be cutting. And then this helps me to gauge where my end um, will be, where the tip of the blade will be cutting on the other side. So my ultimate circle and then the top part as it cones up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just give myself, uh, just got a pen here, just gonna draw in a line there and then roughly something that's about the same distance. You don't need a speed square, you can just use a ruler um, to do it yourself. But just going to mark that up right there. And then you'll wanna use a nice little straight edge along that line to just be able to cut out that little square. Now we have a lot more manageable piece to be able to work with here. So usually with working with the six millimeter WTF, I would recommend using a, a longer uh, extendable blade just because it gives you more cutting surface to be able to cut along and get uh, your cuts all in one go. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is measure how far in your uh, inner circle is and okay, so that's just under two centimeters. And then you're gonna wanna mark that on the top here. So just under two centimeters. And then right here on the bottom, just under two centimeters. And then I'm going to just use a pencil or a pen to then just kind of draw a little line or just kind of make a little mark there for me. And then we're gonna do the same thing now with this outer edge. I know this seems like it's like a lot to cut out a circle, but just you wait and you'll see. So that one's one centimeter in, one centimeter in. Now I just wanna make sure that lines up with the bottom there. Okay, and then give ourselves a nice little mark there. And then you're gonna to wanna to carry that mark down the side, okay? Now that's important because that tells you where your tip is gonna end there because we're gonna be cutting a bevel that goes from this line down to this one, okay? Now this is to kind of help you be able to uh, do it a little bit more precise and be more methodical about it. Um, once you kind of get this down and you get pretty good at estimating where your blade is and that kind of stuff, you can kind of just go for this and use this same technique um, without having to do a lot of this um, precursor stuff. So now I'm gonna start with the edge of my blade there and the tip of my blade going down at that angle. That's gonna give me the bevel angle that I'll be cutting at, okay? So now I need to adjust my hand once I have that like lined up right there. I need to adjust my hand so that um, I have the top of the blade coming in right there and then the bottom of the blade is gonna be, tip is gonna be lined up with that and it's in a position where I can use my hand as a wedge to hold that exact bevel. Now I'm gonna to start to push through. Now you remember with our cutting circles technique, you do not really move your hand so much as you push the foam into the blade, okay? So I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna start 
with just pulling in and pushing the foam through. Now once I get to this point where I connect with this outside here, I'm going to start to rotate. So partway through working on this, I realized that the piece needed to be thicker than it was on the back of the clone trooper helmet. So I doubled up on six millimeter foam. So that my blade is just cutting right along that line, that top line. And that's what my eyes focused on is just that that blade is going right along with that. And then my hand with the blade is just focused on keeping and maintaining that bevel, that right angle. Okay. And take this part nice and slow as you come around into that first starting position. Okay. So there you go. Pretty decent beveled circle, cutting it out by hand. Um, feel like that technique really helps to be able to get as close as you can to a good, nice, clean circle with a bevel added to it. All right, well, there you have it. Hopefully that video was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments below. If it was, share it with a friend that you know could use it so they too can confidently create spot-on cosplays that'll impress their friends and stand out online and on the con floor. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't. We have great tips and uh, printer clips coming out all the time twice a week and we'll catch you in the next one. Cosplay on my friends. See you.